Hello, everybody. How's everyone today? I'm Mega Kidates. All right. Today we are gonna talk about how the original person behind Kitsuna Eye is finally out of being Kitsuna Eye. So in a sense, it's like it's really like making me wondering. Like, is it really a graduation or is it really like? The end of Kitsuna Ai in a way, because if anyone who know about Kitsuna Ai is that she has been known as the like the long the longest VTuber, one of the longest, if not one of the if if there is like previous case, and technically she is also the one who come up with the term called VTuber because initially it was called a lot of, and um uh, so called in the VTuber in the past was all calling call themselves um. Uh, youtuber or content creator or twitch streamer along the line even though we, they can be just using an image a still image along the line but the thing is right what kind of like blue vtuber out at least in my view is kitsa i because the thing is like she come up with the term called vtuber by using it called virtual youtuber so it was like a short form of youtuber became vtuber so it's kind of like became a new form in a way when she do her intro at the time so it kind of caught on to many people especially when in japan before it kind of like blew out to the western side because youtube algorithm so when that actually happened it kind of like got so much people talking about uh virtual youtuber and it also was the moment when tonoki sora who is well known after goddess of hololive and others vtuber uh that we all came to learn and love well there are of course some bad eggs that we we can't def prevent it from happening but when we kind of look like the whole the the whole of the start of everything kitsuna Ai is the one and only i mean like if anyone who go to the wikipedia and search out kitsuna Ai, you can just basically see like the year she started out was to 2016 it was very very long and it is it's like really eight years already in total so what does kitsuna eye situation kind of like say, can be calling by some people an end of an era is that if you guys think about it right um currently there is actually something called kitsuna ai even though her name is called ai is that um what a lot of people need to understand is that the person who was be, uh, behind the original Kitsuna Eyes had actually brought up a statement and I mean like it's more about the company who brought up the statement as well themselves is that Kazuka Nozomi-san had actually left the company uh, maybe in a way I'm not sure is it like leave entirely but it's actually she has stated that she is leaving as a advisor of the company so initially she, we all know very well is that she is the one who portrayed Kitsuna Ai the one and only and for the person who is behind Kitsuna Ai to decided to be out of the position it's kind of like make me really wonder like is she out of being a advisor will she still be kitsuna eye or is she just going to be just you know what i'm not going to do any more of this i'm not uh, i'm i'm out along the line so it's very hard to know what is the uh her tr her true meaning based on what i'm looking at and from my look at it it seems that it may be a moment of that she need a fresh environment at least that how i look looking at i mean like it's not that she not, not having fun or, or whatever i mean like if you guys notice the number of active period she had as kitsuna eye from the start to uh to current one she kind of like hardly went online as kitsuna eye herself it's more like that there are people who are saying like hey there are people who is replacing kitsuna eye in between or midway or even to the point of having ai which basically mean that kitsuna eye had became a vocaloid like situation for her case and to me i'm not saying that it's a bad thing don't don't get me wrong i mean like if there is ai going to replace me who i mean like there's very ai vtuber who is way better and popular than me or uh, but then again if i doing my content and if there is ai who is able to at least catch up my voice or, so that next time if i lost my voice i can just type whatever i 
I want and the AI can do my voice for me. I mean, that's also a good way because technically it means that anyone who can't speak or having speaking difficulty, at least they can just talk, become a keyboard warrior and then they just say whatever they uh, The AI will just say whatever they want. But there will be a different thing because it may go against um YouTube algorithm in a way. So that would be a, a topic for different random chat in future. But then again, when you look about it, right, um, Kitsuna I stepping a way from Kitsuna I is kind of like is it really the end of the era because it, we can't deny the fact that she is the mother of all mother of all VTuber doesn't mean that, that that doesn't mean her a grandmother but the thing is right the last time when she did a so a very so called grand exit in a way the con the, the very famous concert um it really kind of like wonder like is it really like she is stepping away and it's really interesting that um uh, when you look at the uh, the company statement they she is like she she did not renew her contract she wait until the contract got terminated so I, I'll, I'll put up the link for you guys to check it out yourself but there is an english version there is a chinese version and there is a japanese version all same the same thing um uh, it's just being signed off saying that she is stepping away and probably just supporting as a sideliner along the line and it, it's really kind of like made me wonder about the reason why i said is she really stepping away or is she say oh i had this i'm i'm out i'm gonna do my own thing along the line so the, the thing is right from how i look at it it seems like there is a few disagreement within the company is it a good one or is it a bad one i mean like when time change like personally to me, when time change, we have a lot of us have to adapt to the change. And when it comes to corbo uh corporation company along the line, there is a few things they have to follow. There is a few rules they have to set. And those rules is to set to ensure that things doesn't go wrong for the company so that they can last longer, they can go further in. And often more than not, those rules can be considered um bad not for like not bad for anyone it's just that the rules sometimes can be formed to to be part of the public interest and that may kind of rub some people the wrong way so if if it doesn't go well with some people like like maybe if they want to go a little bit extreme on some play more games or whatsoever and the company say no kids and i should not be playing too much game along the line then yeah i can see maybe there's a possibility of having issue of burnout or whatsoever along the line i again take this take this speculation with a huge pinch of salt because i myself is not very very sure about the whole situation that is happening behind the scene but if they are parking on a good way i think uh that may be just some disagreement that caused uh kitsuna i to decide not to renew her contract because the if you guys are uh, a lot of people may not be aware of this but the word they say aspiration of contract meaning to say that she actually wait until the contract going to end and she chose not to renew it so it might be due to the point that there may be some disagreement that she decided to this uh term like she she is not waiting for termination she's not waiting to graduation or something along the line. she wait until like hey my term is out i'm not going to renew any more new contract I'm leaving along the line. So there are many speculations to this. It can be taken that she got disagreement with the company or maybe she, she just want to live uh, a different life. She want to do a different stuff along the line. So there is many, many speculation to this. Uh, but then again, I can only say that uh, we have to take it uh, with a huge pinch of salt because having like the OG, the OG VTuber to step out of being a VTuber does it look good for many people? Personally, it may not because it, it will cause a lot of people like I mentioned like people will say hey, it's the end of an era there's uh, things that we can have uh, things that don't last forever along the line it's, it's really kind of against the original moment when they say that hey, Kitsuna A is here to stay forever Even the, the thing is right now it got AI like doing the voice in a way it maybe I mean like sure ai can replace a lot of things but then again if ai is you like i mentioned i'm very fond of using ai of being used as a 
tools. Not saying like it's going to hum replace human because AI still got a lot of force. I still see a lot of AI work that doesn't look uh, nice. You still need a human to do a little bit of editing to it along the line. But having AI to replace a VTuber, it will be, I'm not even sure about is it going to be a good one or is it a bad one because this is something that um, we've seen with Nurosama. I mean like she... I mean, like, she is an interesting AI, don't get me wrong, she is way popular than me. But the thing is that what really got me a, a bit worried, um, I, 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 I can assure you guys, I can see why a lot of people worry at the same time about that, is that sometimes when AI says something that is ridiculous and is funny, yeah, it's a good thing, two thumbs up. But when you come up with AI talking sometimes that doesn't make sense and or sometimes dangerous we have to take it with a pins of salt and that is when a lot of people like those conspiracy thing or AI hater along the line create coming up with things that saying that hey uh AI is going to replace our server and that is when their paranoid mindset start happening and if I think about it, right, I mean, like, having AI to do things is a good thing for me. I am not guilty. I am also guilty of using AI myself for, like, sometimes when I couldn't come up with a better title, right, uh, what is the title I will have to go? I will just go to you, just go to AI and type, uh, I'm doing this kind of thing, this kind. Can you come up with a few titles along the line? And when you come up with a few idea of the title, I will, then I will say, hey, Maybe some of the title words seems like what I'm looking for. Because sometimes when you think about it, right, we can't, like, we, despite me a lot, learning a lot of things, we can sometimes forget about a lot of things. That is how a human work, a, 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 human, a human brain work. We, we can remember a lot of things and then out of nowhere we forget a lot of things. So when I'm using AI, I'm, I'm just using it as a tool to come up with a title and sometimes the AI can come up with four or five titles and I say, hey, title two and title three seems to be in, in line with what I want. Um, how about I combine this one and three title and change it up and then I just kind of like type it out myself and say, hey, AI, do a grammar check or does it seems to cause not misunderstanding along the line? Which is the reason why if you guys come up and uh, see some of my titles, uh, some of them are um may seem like too advanced for my day. Yes, it may be a possibility of me using AI, but as time passed by, I hardly use AI now. It's not that I'm not saying that AI is not good. It's just that if I find it hard to come up with a specific word or a title that I will look for AI. But it's also thanks to AI that I managed to come up with better title nowadays or title that I feel that is feel comfortable with my um and all these things so the thing is like ai is still a good thing in in the long run is if you are using it as a tool and you are learning and improving yourself using ai and the thing is right uh but then again at the end of the day you still need human or uh, like even for me when i come up with the title i can't just say the title or like two uh two four five is good because if i say like two four five seems very offensive for human thing then i can't use that so it's the same thing for a vtuber is that if it's best that sometimes you have real human doing this uh because real human know how many people think unless the people unless the, the person is very bad at reading the room then that's a, another different thing but from how i look at it they are uh, she is actually living in uh good faith so i think the speculation about she living on bad faith is can be thrown out of the window in case you guys are wondering but it still doesn't undermine that she may have some disagreement here and there i mean like eight years eight freaking years she had been portraying as kizuna eye for so long so it may be that she just need a rest along the line or maybe she just want to have something fresh something new to do so Whatever she do in field, uh, after this, uh, we can only just hope that she will have more fun and enjoy life. Or maybe if she's going to have a family along the line, who knows? Uh, but at the end of the day, eight years, Kitsuna Eye stepping away from doing all, uh, VTubing is, is really a, a bitter sad situation, at least for me. I mean, like, not sure about you guys. If you guys got your own feeling, just write in the comment below. We can maybe understand each other feeling more discuss whether or not there's a different story but the thing is right at the end of the day um it's really been so long 
for Kitsuna Ice to step ever since. I mean, I started out in 2016, nearing eight years, and then she finally just stepping away. So, I mean, like, it's, it's really, like... It's, it's so much different. And if in, in the case people say, like, is there a change in Kitsuna I midway? Yes. Anyway, uh, the one thing I would just say is that Kit, the reason why Kitsuna I is stepping away as an advisor is that she was the OG. And I think anyway, she couldn't, like, do a lot of things herself. So she became, like, uh, the, anyone who knows Kitsuna I, that is actually a change in, in the, uh, the person because... The original couldn't do too much video herself, or maybe she's busy with a lot of stuff. So she became a visor and let the new person to portrait Kitsuna Ai. And again, I have to tell you guys that that did not sit well with many people because they feel like a change. You may have to, you may be the same Kitsuna Ai, but a different personality doesn't sit well with many people. But again, uh, a lot of people still prefer the OG Kitsuna Ai. Even though it's kind of like that, that um, ah yes, it's right here that they say that they start out with a different person later on, so I'm not sure is it like having a change all along the line, but having the like the the advisor herself to step away is kind of like like again like a bit of trick because it's like the the one who started VTuber in a way is now stepping away from being a VTuber is. It just sounds weird. So I I can only hope that VTuber is something that is here to stay for a long because it has been ongoing for a for these past eight years. Even for me who entered Jap uh, who live in Japan since two thousand and seventeen, and have to leave Japan in two thousand and twenty three. So for over for around six years, I had seen the growth of VTuber up close my personally in Japan. And I can say that Japan, in Japan, having VTuber grow in significant of five years, not not six years in total, but five years, it was all it take for VTuber to become a huge thing. And does the pandemic help in a way? Maybe, maybe yes, maybe not. Maybe I don't know. But I can say that VTuber does go a long way and it they brought due to the pandemic maybe pandemic maybe it wasn't as bad as we all thought because it helped to cause people to watch more youtube and start start taking notice of vtuber in a way so to me i think that can be a taken as a form of a good thing along the line so for me at least that's how it seems on the other hand um seeing the change in like the the end of like she and uh seeing the OG go going away, it just feels sad at least to me. So it's to the point that I myself can only say that we we can only hope for the best for her if she's going to a uh, she if she's deciding to go to do stuff that she feel comfortable with on or uh, along the line. I mean, like so far, I think trying to find a lot of people talking about. Kitsuna I maybe I've kind of record this a little bit further uh, faster than most people. Uh but so far I only got Kyo san who just returned from his vacation and starting talking about the Kitsuna I. Um in regards to another topic he talked in his video called Niji En or the Niji Sanji situation, I kind of talked about this in my previous video that I'm actually very 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 speedless about uh Niji Sanji. Uh only to wake up to the next day about more Niji Sanji drama. And Kitsun and Kitsuna I situation didn't even end up well from at least from, from my day. But then again, uh that's just, just all random chat, just a random talk. It, um don't think too much along the line. But then again, if you guys got your own take about Kitsuna I the OG or Kitsuna I stepping away from everything do you guys think that she is gonna be another vtuber herself or is she gonna to do even more things along the line write in the comment below what you guys feel and we can decide discuss it further but till then don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where i talk about stuff that never follow a single trend but till then i hope you guys have a nice day all night bye